In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create six options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I have created this sphere with the world map onto it and then there is a shadow of it at the bottom and when I click the first option comes, you can see here the first option with the option number, title, icon and the detailed text as, as well as I have added the shadow effect. Then on my next click, it will show the option 2 with a different color. Then this is the option 3 and on the right side, it will show you the option 4, option 5 and option 6. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now as well as share and like my channel. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangle, select the second one, which is rectangle rounded corners. Just click it here. It will create one small a rectangle here i'm going to change the height and width make the height as 1.35 and the width as 10.5 you can see here this much size and you can see a small orange point just drag this inside so it becomes perfectly curved then i'm going to just duplicate this you can see here and then i can make this one maybe 11.4 i'm just increasing the size a little bit and again this one i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add it here so let me just give a equal spacing between this so you can see here and then shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to right mouse click go to format object under fill i'm just going to increase the transparency somewhat and later on i can make the transparency zero so once this is done, I'm going to insert shapes, select the oval shape, hold the shift key to create a perfect circle. You can see here and then just put exactly in the center. You can see here like this again, shape outline, make it no outline and increase the transparency level. And depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the height of this circle. You can see here, you can hold the shift key and again, you can just reduce it and press or hold the control and shift key together so that you don't need to, you know, center align this one. So maybe I'm going to make it maybe this much size of the circle. And then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing control D. You can see here again, let me just put it exactly on the top. And again, hold the control and control shift key together and just increase the size a little bit. Maybe this much size you can see here. This one I'm going to use for my future purpose. I'm just going to keep this aside here. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these objects one by one. Hold the shift key. You can see here and select all this and then go to format merge shape and just make it fragment you can see here fragment and then it can i can just remove one by one you can see here so it's all now as a separate one by one a different objects has been created you can see here now for me depending on my requirement i can go and give some different color so let me just give some different color here depending on the requirement maybe i can use a kind of this color you know then i'm going to use this color let me just select all these colors and transparency let me make it zero you can see here again whichever depending on your requirement you can just change the color you can see here maybe i'm going to give some red and here some kind of colors like this so i'm going to add one more uh, shape here for that let me just select this by holding the shift key and press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here and ctrl g to group it and exactly place it on top of the you can see here this is exactly placed i believe and if it is not just make sure that it is align it properly or if you can just so this is perfectly aligned and then i'm just going to bring this circle here you can see here 
bring this to front all right and again you can see the equal spacing has to be given and this one let me just ungroup it so now i'm going to take this shape and then i'm going to intersect with this one so first let me just duplicate this six times press ctrl d to duplicate so this is my second one third fourth fifth and sixth so what i'm going to do now i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key and select this one go to merge shape and just say intersect so you end up let me just show you it end up getting a shape something like this okay so again selecting this one and again intersect intersect you can see here then i'm going to select this again intersect and the last one again intersect so you can see here i've got this shape so i'm just going to select this one and go to shape fill i'm going to give a black color and increase the transparency so it looks something like this now i'm going to add a circle in the center for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key you can see here maybe this much size we can put it and exactly put it in the center shape outline make it no outline and you can give some gradient fill and by default it will be four so i'm going to just remove this one and type make it radial and then direction make it from the center and here i'm going to give some gray color you can see here and this one you can keep it like this or you can see here and then you can go to the shadow then presets go to inner i'm just going to select the inner center and increase the blur size and if you can change the color also you can just if you want some dark light color you can just make it like this or you can see here let me just select something like this and then here uh, in the center of this one i'm just going to add this uh, map you can see here this particular map which is fully editable i'm just going to copy it here you can see here and then i'm going to add uh, six uh, small small uh, oval shapes for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape again hold the shift key so that you get a perfect circle shape outline make it no outline and you need to give the same color what the color we have used for this option so you can just go and select the color of your the options here press ctrl d so i'm just going to add the option for this ctrl d this is for the center one you can see here make sure it is center again ctrl d this is for the bottom one so once you change the color depending on the this one so you can just keep on changing the color you can see a one by one maybe this is green this is orange this is kind of a yellow and this is red and what i'm going to do i'm just going to connect this dot so before that one i'm just going to select this one by one by holding the shift key and you can give some 3d effect go to 3d format and top bevel you can just give like this so it looks something like this then go to insert shapes from this one you can see here freeform shape i'm just going and just making a line like this a connector double click and this press ctrl d and then just rotate it you can see here let me just rotate again and then just add it here again press ctrl d i'm just going to add it to the bottom you can see here i can just make it flip vertical add this side again ctrl d and then you can just add the other side and for this you can add some straight line just take the line and then just draw it straight line hold the shift key so that you get the perfect straight line you can see here 
press control D again just add the line here and again you can just select all of this by holding the shift key and increase the outline go to weight increase the outline give some maybe a gray color sorry shape outline give some gray color and increase the transparency here so once this is done you can give some small shadow effects here and you can add your text so you can add the title and the text i'm just going to add the text here you can see here let me just add the text and make it white again select some good font reduce the size you can see here like this you can just make it one by one press ctrl d and just add the and if the font is not visible you can make it black color also so depending on your requirement you can just add the font the size and the color also So with this almost we have completed the design and if you want to give some shadow effect also you can go to insert shapes select the rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level then here go to soft adjust increase the size you can see here bring it here reduce the size tilt it a little bit and send this to back so you can see here like this we can give the shadow effect for each option you have to just select and send to back so you can give the same shadow effect for the rest of the options also